In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who raised up the Bishop Saint Athanasius as an outstanding champion of your son's divinity, mercifully grant that rejoicing in his teaching and his protection, we may never cease to grow in knowledge and love of you. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. She was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, she grew in numbers. As Peter was passing through every region, he went down to the Holy Ones living in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been confined to bed for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once, and all the inhabitants of Leda and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha, which translated is Dorcas. She was completely occupied with good deeds and almsgiving. Now during those days, she fell sick, and died. So after washing her, they laid her out in a room upstairs. Since Lida was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him with a request, please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs where all the widows came to him weeping and showing him the tunics and cloaks that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out and knelt down and prayed. Then he turned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up. And when he had called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many came to believe in the Lord. The word of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? O Lord, I am your servant. 
I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? Your spirit and life, O oh Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, for this reason, I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my father. As a result of this, many of his disciples return to their former way of life and no longer walk with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. My dear friends in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. When we decide to follow Jesus, is there a limit to it? Should we have conditions to follow him only in good times? Our, our everyday life is a gift from our Lord that we should be thankful for and we must follow him. But comes at times when difficulties arise that we must not let ourselves to stop following our Lord. He stays with us even now and knows about the people's distress and affliction because of the recent pandemic. That large crowd of 5,000 people who witnessed Jesus' multiplication of the bread and fish were decreased. Many of those who followed him have returned to their ways of living. Sad to say, they left Jesus, who stayed with him, only the 12 apostles. But why did the people leave? Because it is hard for them to believe or accept what Jesus said, that he is the bread of life. They do not believe him. 
they were there when Jesus fed them. When Jesus healed the sick, and yet they cannot accept his words. The truth is, many of us act like that. We leave Jesus when we are facing difficulties in life. He gave us many blessings, but we still forget him or even thank him for everything that he had given us. We must always believe in him, no matter how good or bad the situations we will encounter. My dear friends in Christ, what else do we need to convince us that Jesus is our Savior? Do you also want to leave Jesus? The answers is in your hands. Amen. Following the example of St. Athenaeus, who faithfully served the Lord and trusted in Him throughout his life, we now bring our needs to God. For the leaders of the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to give them strength and grace in proclaiming the truth fearlessly. Let us pray to the Lord. For political leaders, May God grant them courage in passing laws, protecting all life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who suffer from any addiction, may the hope of resurrection in Jesus give them strength in their pursuit of healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For this community, May the Lord place his hand upon us and guide us in our service to the sick, oppressed, or suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, may they rest in the peace of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. We also include in this Holy Mass for the souls of uh, Ariele Matanane, Nieves Bulor, and all the souls in purgatory, our frontliners, those who died in this pandemic, those who are in the hospital, our brothers and sisters who are sick, most especially also those who have cancer, those who are dying this very moment. Let us pray for them to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. Eternal Father, we trust in your infinite goodness and love. Kindly hear our prayers, which we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Spirit and life, O oh Lord, richer than gold, stronger than death. Your words are spirit and life, O oh Lord, life everlasting. Your words are spirit and life. Richer than gold, stronger than death. Your words are spirit and life, O oh Lord, life everlasting. 
pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God's Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings we present to you in commemoration of St. Athenaeus, and may witnessing to your truth bring salvation to those who profess, as he did, an unblemished faith. We ask this to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He's a sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together that ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, most especially Saint Athenaeus, have preached throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family, with our humble hearts, all together, let us pray the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Glory Jesus Christ who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On you stay. Quit all is peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, quit all is peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, quit all is peccata mundi. Dona nobis pace. My dear friends in Christ, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Since you are not yet able to receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, but to spiritual communion, you will receive him and also pray this plan. I I receive him with my whole heart, with my whole soul, with my whole being, and also say this plan. Through this precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, no virus can touch me.
let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Almighty God, that the true divinity of your only begotten Son, which we firmly profess with St. Athenaeus, may through the sacrament ever give us life and protection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass ascended. Go and let us pray one another. Hallelujah, love is alive, conquered the grave and defeated the night. Hallelujah, love is alive, the sun has arisen for all. Your people sing Hallelujah.